So, how can you draw that in your model? And if somebody is drawing it differently than you, that's okay. We want to see your thinking and the reasoning behind how you're drawing, how you're representing these different aspects in your model. I think the other classes had like eight or seven or eight different ways of showing yes. what sound would look like if you could see it. So, yeah. It's super cool. And it's really interesting to see and we love it. So, whatever way you think that sound looks like or can be represented, please do that. What I did, uh, what I observed, is that uh, when uh, his mouth was close to, uh, his mouth was close to the glass, and so maybe when his mouth was close to the glass, it was making, uh, it was making the glass vibrate with all the things of metal things that you take away the impact vibrate, which maybe possibly caused it to maybe um, when you play pretty too fast and kind of, you know. Yes. Also, what I observed is that at the beginning, when they did a close-up of his mouth close to the glass, um, first his mouth was a direct circle, and then he kind of made it an oval. And so first it was a circle, and then it turned into a oval. So, Milani, when you first, can I ask you a question? Because when you first drew it, you just had the curves on the left. Why did you add more curves, more of the lines that you drew around him? Because maybe, um, maybe another way that, that it could make the glass break was that maybe it could have, it could have surrounded the glass because, like, how I'm talking to you right now, like, they can't hear me. It's not just them back again, but my voice is kind of, in a way, kind of traveling. Yeah. Like, it's natural mm -hmm. as well or something. Mm -hmm. um, and so, maybe it kind of, maybe the sound, in a way, it kind of wrapped it, like, kind of wrapped it on the glass, which made, which made the vibrating so intense that it broke the glass. Mm -hmm. So, I understand what you're saying about the sound in all directions. I mean, your voice is projecting that way, and yet they can hear you, and all of us over here can hear you. So it's not, I mean, it's not like just because you're projecting one way doesn't mean that the whoever is right there, that's not the only person that can hear you, everyone can. So if like we were to turn around, you'd be talking to the wall, but everybody can hear you. Just not as loud, man. Yeah. Good. All right, and then Keone also drew a this version crescent type things but he drew it backwards so his is bigger at the start and then it gets smaller and do you think that there's a connection between Kehlani's and Rukia's yeah they're all shooting out in different ways which is really interesting to be thinking about